Hello guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to create a table of content using a tool called PostX. This is the tool I use on my both blogs and I was searching for a solution of table of contents and also blog posts and I found that one and I'm pretty happy using it. If you go to my website, Tech Trend Zone, you can see that I'm using post X to organize my blog posts. I, this site is still new, so I have few blog posts. So it's not, I, I'm not showing everything like more dense and more as like a magazine. But when I have more posts, I will be able to organize everything using post X. The tool is pretty flexible. And they have that feature, the table of content feature that I think is the best plugin to use it. It's fast and it looks beautiful on your website and it will uh, certainly stand out. I'm going to show you how to create the table of content. Of course, first you need to install the PostX plugin and I would recommend you to have also the PostX Pro plugin. Then you will have all the features. Then you go to your blog post, any blog post, and you need to have headings on the blog post. As you can see here, I have a blog post with headings. Of course, if you're going to write a blog post, you know that for SEO purpose and for the organization of your blog, you need to have headings. So I have an H2 here, another H2 here h3 here h2 here so first you create your blog with your headings and then when you are ready you are you can see your table of content you just go to gutenberg and click here on the button to show the blocks and it will show the table of content post x block this is a block that is now on WordPress because you have the post X plugin installed. And then you just drag and drop. It's really simple. You drag and drop. After you drag and drop, you can see that your table of contents are ready. And now you only need to customize. They have different kind of layouts. I usually like that one that have one, two, two point one. So you just like have all the numbers but you can use th that one that ha they have that arrows layout also those another kind of arrows but different kind of layouts i like that one and then you can change the design of the table of contents and they have many templates just click here to import on the red made design and you change it your design can you see here it's different has it's black you have designs with different kind of background as you can see here that's one that's white so you can select the design that you like most and use it i usually like that one okay with the gray background here and then after you select your design and your layout, pretty simple, you can go on settings to customize. You can, if you don't want to use all your headings, for instance, I don't want to use the H6 on my summary, on my table of contents. You just, you can just click here to delete the headings that you don't want on the summary. You can, uh, add a feature to make the table of content collapse or not if you don't want to collapse I don't I do not like I don't use the collapse feature you can just turn it off if you let it turn it in and uh, turn it, turn it on when people come to your website and if they want to close the table of content they just click here on the close button you can also let the table start close it and then people can click 
to see it. And here you can say you can change the text if you want, for instance, to show as summary. You can just change the text as summary. I like to add table of content. Of course, Google will recognize table of content and summary. However, but usually, of course, people use table of content. So it's here. You can change the background if you want to make the background fit with your branding. You can also change that background. Okay, you can make it the way you want. Yellow. Okay, you can change your background the way you want. You can also change the, the, the typography of your heading, the font size, you can make it bigger. You can capitalize or not, change it. So it's fully customizable the way you want. You can also change the list body. For instance, the hover color here is blue, but let's say I want an orange on my hover color. You can just find an orange color here, and it's done when you hover here, it will be orange. You can see how it's beautiful. You can change the typography as well. You can make the font size a bit bigger, okay? You can customize the way you want. Also in Collapsible, you can change the text. You can, you know, change to end. You can change everything, customize everything. If you, if you, your blog is on another language, on French, or Portuguese, Spanish, you can just change everything to your language. It's fully customizable. Okay. You can also add additional CSS to your table of contents. And that's it. It's pretty easy to create a table of content. You create it automatically in one minute, literally. So it's easy and it's beautiful. It's not something that will harm the design of your blog post. And I'm going to show you the one I'm using. Here's my website. And then I'm going to click here and you can see my table of contents here. I'm not using the collapse feature, so it will be always open. And then you can just click here to go to the exact place of your blog posts. Why you should use the table of content? It's, you know, mandatory for SEO because in that way you help Google to understand what your post is about. And then you also send a message to Google that you are structuring well your blog post. So you may have a quality content table of content. is like, it's another thing that you do, you, you, you own your site structure to make it more complex and more organized. And then you send a good message to Google and also you help Google to put you on SERPs because then they can understand what better what your article is about and then you also improve your chance to be featured as a question on the on a snippet on Google so of course we need a schema, a schema plugin plugin as well but it's pretty simple to do but then when you have the table of content you have more chance to be on SERPs so you are improving your site structure. This is one of the goals while you are working with SEO, having the best site structure that you can. This is my first review of Post X. Today I'm teaching you how to create the table of content, and on the next video I will full do a full review, uh, teaching you how to use post X to make a beautiful blog. If you like that review, just take a look at post X. I added the link on the description. Thank you so much. Bye bye.